We're here in Cambodia at a World UNESCO Heritage Site, Angkor Wat. Check it out. Camodia. After settling into my hotel, it became nighttime. I decided to go do some recon, so I had a took drive me to Pub Street. This is where you hang out at night. I decided to come here and hopefully find a driver for the next day. I met Sean, and Sean's gonna hook it up and take me everywhere I wanna go in his took. The best way to see Inger Wat is at sunrise. So Sean's taking me back to my hotel. He's gonna pick me up at 5.30 a.m. It's 5.30 in the morning and Sean is taking me to the ticket office. It's off-site, it's nowhere near the temple complex. It's in the opposite direction. So you have to come here first. You can buy a one, three, or seven day pass here. Once we got the tickets to the archeological park, Sean's racing to get me there before the sun rises above Angkor Wat. At 402 acres large, Guinness Book of World Records claims this is the largest religious construction in the world. Created for the Khmer Empire in the 12th century, it was originally a Hindu temple and dedicated to the god Vishnu. By the end of the century, it was converted to a Buddhist temple. Of five separate entrances to the temple, we are now entering the one in the middle, the king's entrance. Outside the temple, I met a tour guide named Lee. He said he wanted 15 bucks to show me around. I said 10, he said okay. So he's with us now, following behind. We'll see Lee in a sec. Pro tip, in Cambodia, they take the Cambodian real as well as the US dollar. But your US dollars have to be perfect. It's always better to use real in any, in any condition. When the sun comes over the temple, there's a reflection in the pool where you get the best picture. We made it in time. Everybody's just waiting for the perfect moment to get that perfect photo. And there's only one spot you can do it at. And here's what I woke up so early to get, is this shot right here. Yeah, and you know, to be in there, that the building for library. The you know, the temple is not for living. You know, the temple is made for worship and education. The time the people they come to learn here. So they make two buildings here. They for look like library. They keep Hindu Bible inside there. You know, Hindu Bible, Bible cannot make a paper. Because they, uh, they say make a paper, not Hindu Bible. So that time they cut the leaf from the palm tree and then they scratch over the leaf of the palm tree with the stylus. And then they apply with the charcoal to make black color. Because that time no ink. So that's from that tree right there? Yeah, palm tree. The palm tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah the palm leaf. And then charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you know, uh, the palm leaf, they have the fiber, see the fiber. Yeah, yeah. Lee was explaining to me that in order to be a World UNESCO Heritage Site, there's some rules. And naturally, uh, people want to repair what's been damaged. So when they're repairing certain things that have been damaged, they're using a different material so you can tell what's original and what's new. Now, can you see the difference between the old stone and the new concrete? Yeah, this one is with the concrete. This also. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, the new one. The original. Yeah, here, you can see the photo with the frame of the window. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and you see the roof, the oblet is drawn together that a pond stone about we get a little bit, a little bit then one below, one more bit, a bit together at the top and then the cat one stone about look like the arch <laughs> wow Absolutely incredible. Yeah. <laughs> that's a new machine, new engine, by hand. Yeah, you know, why, why do you make the hole like this? Uh, because, you know, uh, the time uh, the, the, the insect put and peg inside the hole, and then they take the rope tie, put and peg, and elephant pulls from there. Yeah. So you do know, that so yeah. elephants can yeah. you know, one elephant, transport the stones, huh? Yeah, you know, one elephant, one stone. One elephant, one stone. So when they make the temple, they use many, many thousand elephants to take the stone from the quarry. A thousand elephants? Yeah, many, many thousand elephants. Oh, many thousands. Yeah. Started getting blazing hot at early in the morning. It's still pretty cool, but humid. 6 a.m. I'm already sweating. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Angkor Wat. And come to see my own painting here. I do that by myself in Angkor Wat. Beautiful. I don't know guys, last night in over by Pub Street, I saw a couple different vendors selling pictures really similar to this. And both of them as well claim that they painted them themselves too. So I don't know what's going on, but still beautiful pieces of art, right? So this is the uh, inscriptions of uh, the demon army and the monkey army fighting? Yes, the monkey and demon army. Wow. And here you can see uh, two head of lion, but uh, one monkey, yeah, he jump up on the top of two head of lion, and then he hold, one hand he hold the arrow for a demon. And one one leg, yeah, one leg, he kicked the demon face. Yeah. And another demon he took one arrow to him. The ten monkey divide the arrow inside the mouth. So the monkey looked like proof. Okay. And check this out, the temple was built perfectly aligned with north, south, east, and west. You know here, water level. Yeah, yeah the water level. Yeah, water level. Yeah. The stones are yeah. perfectly flat. Yeah. See? Perfect. Wow. Yeah. You know, either long slope down, the stone move down. See? Yeah. Because yeah. if it slants, the stones will slip and yeah. fall down, so they have to be perfect. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. 
So we're on the second floor right now. Yeah, now second floor. The third floor. Yeah. Third, third floor. floor. The second floor, the tower. But the second floor, the fourth tower. But the fourth tower, our second floor fall down. This is down here, fall down on the top of the tower. Yeah, so uh, originally the online tower. Originally nine tower. Lee's explaining that there was originally nine towers said to represent the nine planets. And yes, they included Pluto. That's why nine, not eight. Also pointing out some of the new repair work that's been done. The five towers in the center of the complex are meant to represent the five peaks of Mount Meru. For both Hindu and Buddhist, it's the mythical home of the gods. Lee entered his tour here and this is where I get to climb the temple and we get to go check out what's inside. Steep. Yep. It's a bit scary all the way down. <laughs> right? Well, I can only just imagine the monumental task and how many people and how much talent and resources it took to construct this temple. And then centuries and centuries ago, it's just wow, right? So it's the sculptures and carvings which make these iconic towers look jagged from far away. And here at the center of the temple, we have a reclining Buddha statue, which happens to be my Buddha. If you're into Buddhism, there's a different image of Buddha which corresponds to which day of the week you were born. You can go online and look yours up. Can't help but to wonder what this place looked like in its prime, for sure, you know? All the intricate art, just what's left over is amazing. Imagine how phenomenal it looked when it was, when it was brand new or in its heyday, right? Well, that looks like that's about it for Angkor Wat, but there's so many more. See you guys on the next one.